Oh shit, what's up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel, hope you're having a wicked day. In this video, like my last video, so I'm going to be picking my England team that should start in the semi-final against Denmark. semi for I can't believe we're in the semi-final. It's absolutely mad, and if you've been living under the rock and you don't know, England absolutely smacked Ukraine 4-0. Yeah, 4-0. Absolutely madness, man. I can't believe it. But it was Ukraine, and I did say in my video, we should be beating these teams 3-4-0 if we're serious about winning it. So anyway, so we got Denmark in the next round, and I'm going to go ahead and pick my team. So make sure you guys like, subscribe, if you're excited. And is it coming home? It might be. But yeah, man, make sure you like and subscribe, and let's get straight into it. All right, so in my last couple of videos, we've been going with this 4-3-3. But like I've been saying, this 4-3-3 is a bit different. So what I would play is the middle player here. I play as an attacking midfielder. So it's more of a 4-2-1-3 with the two sitters in the midfield. So this guy's going to be a 10 and then you got the wingers and your striker. But yeah, we're going to start off with the goalkeeper. And as always, it's going to be Jordan Pickford. He's been quite good. I haven't even considered the goal yet, so it's pretty mad, and he hasn't really had to do anything, so hopefully it stays that way, and yeah man, he's been probably really solid, he's not really had much to do, but he's always going to start, in it? And now we're going to go with the left back, and of course it's Luke Shaw, if I can find his name, where is he, I'm blind, there he is, <laughs> my mic is blocking the screen a little bit, so I can't see, but yeah. Yeah, definitely Luke Shaw. He was immense in the last game. He's created a lot of chances. I think he's created the most chances at the tournament. I think there might be one person ahead of him. I think I saw the stat. So he's been banging it in. He's been doing really well. And alongside him, we're going to have Harry Maguire. Again, my screen is... There he is. Harry Maguire, he's been excellent. He's been a rock at the back. Him and Stones have done such a great job. I mean, I've given away who's going to play with him, but they've been fantastic together. So you already know, let's get him in. John Stones, these two have been so good at the back. They're solid. They complement each other. Maguire's got the better positioning, but Stones has pace so he can get back in cover. And at, uh, right back, we're going to put Kyle Walker. So it's the same back five as last game. Again, a back four. We don't need a back three in this game. Back four is good. So yeah, that's the back four and the keeper. So now we're going to go into the midfield. And I think you already know who it's going to be, to be honest. It's going to be Calvin Phillips on one side. And Declan Rice on the other. Now I was thinking about this the other day. England used to have... Was it Frank Lampard, Steven Gerrard and Paul Scores as a midfield? They didn't really play it together, but that was a midfield. And the midfield now is Rice and Phillips, and they're kind of doing better than they did. Now, obviously, he's, I'm not saying they're better players, because when Paul Scores and Steven Gerrard, Lampard are better players than these two. But these two seem to fit the team better, so they're playing well. And last game for number 10, um, we've been playing... He played Mason Mount there now. Mason Mount's a quality player, but he's not who I would pick. I think Southgate's going to go with the same team as last game. He's going to go with Mount. But I would rather see... Where is he? Jackie Grealish. I've been saying this every bloody episode now. He is our best player. He will unlock so many chances for us. Harry Kane will want him to play because he's going to create more chances. And, you know, when he came on in the other game, I can't remember who he played, but he came on and he smashed it. It was Germany and he came on against Germany, he smashed it. So I think he should be playing, you know, he didn't play last game. We got the job done, but I just think we would have scored five or six if Grealish played. So we're going to go with Grealish there. So number 10, who is it going to be? You already know it's Harry Kane. Captain, he's scoring goals now for fun. He's just picking up his form just at the correct time. And he's been looking good. So, fantastic news. So, then on the left side. So, that's the left side here. It's going to be... 
Who's it going to be? You already know he's going to be Raheem Sterling. He's going to play on the left hand side again. He's before Kane started scoring. He's been scoring goals. Kane and Sterling are the only ones who've been scoring goals. Maguire got a header, but you know he's not really being a big contributor. These two have, so these two must start. Now we get onto the right hand side. Now again, this is always where it's going to get dodgy. Now, in my opinion. Again, I was wrong last time. I thought Phil, Dern, Phil Foden was going to start because Southgate loves him. I think he's going to do it again, though. I haven't changed my mind. I think he's going to go with Phil Foden here. And I don't think he's the guy that should be playing. For me, I want to see more Jaden Sancho. I thought he was quite decent. He didn't have the best of games when we played. He had a nice dribble. I mean, and he should have scored a goal. I think mean, it was offside anyway, but doesn't matter. But I think he's our best right winger. It's got to be Jaden Sancho. So yeah, man, this is the team. So let me know what you think. Would you change the team? Would you change formation? Would you change the players? Do you think Saka should be playing? Do you think it should be Mason Mount at 10? Do you think Jude Bellingham should be playing? Let me know in the comment section below. Let me know if you should if you would change it. But yeah, man. So now I'm just going to get the Denmark team that played the last match against Czech Republic. And we're going to see what the team looks like. I'll see you there. All right. So another game, another team playing a back three. Now, when I'm looking at this team, I see some potential threats here. You've got Dolberg up top. Now, I don't know too much about Dolberg, but I'm pretty sure he's a tall striker that likes headers. So he's going to be a bit difficult. Braithwaite. Now he plays for Barcelona. <laughs> I don't know how he plays for Barcelona. He does Braithwaite. So he could be difficult. You got Hoiber from Spurs. Good technical player. He's good at passing. His defensive uh, positioning is fantastic. His tackles are good. You've got Delaney. Now I'm pretty sure he's Palace, right? He plays for Crystal Palace. Again, it's pretty similar to Hoiber. He's quite a solid player. And obviously they got Shamaiko, Le the Leicester goalkeeper. He's solid. And at the back, they got a nice back three here. Of Vestergaard and Christensen. I don't have to say this man's name. So I'm just going to go with number four. <laughs> he's a top, top player. I've seen him play many times. I don't know how I say his name, but he's very good. He's actually a centre-back. I think United should be looking at to partner up with Harry Maguire. He's been great. And Christensen, we know from Chelsea, is quite a decent player. So when I look at this team, it looks good. But we have the better team and we should be winning here. Now, again, like I said, I don't think we need to go back three because we should be beating these players up front anyway. Our team should be enough to take them up. So I'm going to go with a 3-1 win for England. I think we're going to score two goals. They're going to score one. And then we're going to get a third in like the last five minutes. I think it's going to be 3-1. And I think England, and, uh, England are getting to a final. I don't believe that I'm saying this. But I think England should be getting to the final here. And I think we're going to get Italy in the final. And then I'll be doing a squad prediction for the final. So yeah, stay tuned for that. Football's coming home. You've heard it here. I believe it's coming home. I think we're going to do it, man. I really do. But yeah, man. So that's going to be the video. Let me know if you think I'm insane. Like the video. Football's coming home. So yeah, man. But that's literally going to be the video. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in a bit. And peace. Peace.